What Not To Wear was the mega-hit makeover show that inspired a generation of women to rethink their wardrobes. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, quite they big, are. Aren't they? Are you double D? No. Oh, what figure. are you? C. C. That is a D, not a yeah. C. You're, you're showing the wrong size bra. Oh, we loved it, didn't we? Premiering 20 years ago, host Trini Woodall and Susanna Constantine travelled the globe and met thousands of everyday people, saving them from their fashion faux pas. Now, in 2017, Trini took a left turn, embarking on a career in the makeup industry. From 10 people working around the kitchen table to 134 employees in just three years. Trini London is the beauty range finding great success right around the world. I spoke with the fashionista turned makeup mogul about building her brand and why she has no regrets sharing everything, everything on social media. Trini Woodall joins us live from London. Hello. I'd like to say live from London and be in some incredible <laughs> backdrop and show you, you know, Buckingham Palace, actually not necessary for the Australians. Maybe Regent Street and Oxford Street and the lights. But no, I'm in my little room that I've lived in for a year. Uh, you look like you're in your closet, which is fine because this is where we find you most of the time because you, you have this makeup range, Trini London. And Trini, it's just going from strength to strength. We know you originally from fashion, but in 2017, mm -hmm. you made this leap into beauty, which kind of sounds easy, but I'm guessing it's not. I think. What's not is when you make a big um, career change and you might have been doing something that was a bit in the public eye before, there's a, there's a tag you'll be known for for ages. So people want to associate you for what you're most known for by the public. So that is a while, but internally that journey has been one where the reality behind the scenes is always very different. And I had been doing a lot of TV and then we'd stopped being the flavor of the month as it were. And we started doing TV out of England. We came to Australia, we did TV shows there, which I love. And then we did 16 other countries. And when I was around those countries, I met so many women who didn't know how to do their makeup. And it was the one thing that I really noticed first. And what I wanted the most when I launched in London is we would be a very ageless brand. And, and mothers would give it to daughters and daughters to mothers because it felt easy for everyone. You know, that was my intention. And all those women, those 3,000 women I made over, I, I, I got from that, I want something really easy in my life. But what we get from you, Trini, and this shines through, is that you love women. You make women feel good about themselves. I do. <laughs> I do love women. And, and um, I love to make women feel better, mm. you know? I like to leave a woman and her to think, I feel better about myself. And since I was six and a half making over my friends at school. So it's not a passion that's gone away or I've got tired of. And it brings me joy, tremendous joy. And I hope it brings women joy. We cannot have Trini on without asking about what not to wear. I can't believe 20 years ago, since it premiered on the BBC. 20 years ago? I yeah. really, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you and Suzanne, you, ab you absolutely revolutionised the you know, before and after. You, you guys were the first to do it. And I think it really struck a chord with millions and millions of viewers. Do, do you still have really fond memories of that? Totally. I mean, it, you know, because of that show, I travelled the world. I met so many women. I have so many stories inside my head of, of meeting those women. My life is enriched by it. Um, it was at the time a very, you know, different show. So Susanna and I still, you know, we never w would want to go back to it. And <laughs> occasionally people have asked us to, but Susanna is now, I speak to her about once a week, Susanna is now wild swimming around England and it's just brilliant what she does. She literally cracks some ice with an ax and she goes swimming. She's <laughs> turned into the eccentric 50 year old British woman in the best possible way. <laughs> and she's fearless. Trini, I'm a long time follower of you on Instagram. Uh, one particular standout, your 2020 bloopers reel. Now, oh, yeah. <laughs> can, well, I bet you want to show that. Uh, I, that's why I paused. Play reel. Come on, let's just get the face waking up. Come on, ladies. I can't bloody wait. Oh, my God. I'm so bloated today. I'm being, oh, the stomach. This is such a disaster. I can't tell you. I don't know what to do now. I think I need to go to the bathroom. So I'm just going to do a bit of... Oh, no, I'm not going to do what the f*** that was. Oh, but that was quite cool. Oh, oh, like you're doing a big poo. Are you insane, Trini Woodall? You do not shy away from sharing anything. 
do you ever look back and go, I can't believe I did that? Why did I do that? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> because it's like what we will do. You know, we all kind of sit here and we're bored and we experiment and we put dog nappies on to do our eyelashes. And that's the thing about social media. Sometimes I can take two steps back and think, God, this is so gratuitous, you know, and then I'll just think, no, it's not. It's what we all, you know, we all do this. So I'll do it. And if it makes somebody laugh, that's the thing. Just finally, Trini, uh, you spoke online about your daughter wanting to move to New York to study. Yeah. Um, are you ready for her to fly, though? I will be gutted when she flies. <laughs> gutted. Because it's like, you know, with this sort of thing of New York, that's great. And also we just, you know, we 10% of our business is America. I want to grow it to 25%. So I will be there. I might even rent a flat in New York. You know, I will be traveling there. So therefore, by the time she's in that position, I'll probably be in America a lot more. So that's the only reason that I'm feeling okay about it because I don't want to cramp her style in New York, but I want to know I'm there and it's a big city and she's been there every year of her life, but still, you know, I just, yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah. No. You know, this feeling. any mother knows this feeling. It's like, yeah, we so want them to not have a messy room and get on with their life, but my God, we don't want them to go as well. Yeah, we'll have, oh, have yeah. the tissues ready. Uh, Trini, it's been a delight talking to you. Congratulations on everything that you are doing with the makeup line. And I think even bigger picture than that, empowering women and celebrating women and saying, hey, you know what? It's okay to be you. Thanks, Trini. It's great to be you. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. <laughs> Isn't she great? Oh, yeah. yeah. The makeup range is called Trini London. Right. And it's going gang. I'm, I'm wearing Miracle Blur today. I was going to say, you look a bit blurry today. <laughs> Do I look blurry? Yeah, and, and it's a miracle that you're here. <laughs> Put your glasses on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank uh, she, you, Trini. She to, I loved her during the interview, but I loved her more during the bloopers. That's when you really fall in love with yourself, <laughs> oh, right? Oh, she's full of, give her a follow on Instagram, she's full of great it stuff. Great stuff, good chat.